And so now for a puzzle that is definitely different, it's time to free the innocent man once again. So let's see what crimes we have this time. We have swindling. We have kidnapping. Embezzlement. Down here we have uh, what was that? Counterfeiting. Murder. And bodily injury. That's a new one. So, those are our various crimes. Now to go have a look at the actual riddle. I do not wish to die, but tomorrow I will climb the thirteen steps. Please, someone, answer me. Why must I die come the morning? The man imprisoned beside me believed me. Because they're all insane, that's why, he said. Of course, I know his opinion will change nothing. Now you know why I struck out at them, he muttered. So the person imprisoned beside our innocent man has admitted that he struck out at people. So the bodily injurer, he's guilty. The man who was executed yesterday, the one who had said his job was to sell dreams, said that was not true. So someone who says his job is to sell dreams, he's taking people's money to promise them these things and then not delivering. That would be the swindler. But the man who is to be executed the day after tomorrow for stealing children shouted back that it was true. Stealing children would be kidnapping, so he's guilty. The man who was hung today did not answer. They'll kill me either way, he said. He was caught embezzling public money, so he hasn't any hope for mercy. Well, here they flat out tell you that the embezzler is guilty. The man who is always quietly smiling to himself said, I am happy, for I will soon be with her. Now this one's not quite so straightforward. But if we consider the two remaining crimes that we have here, that we have not yet eliminated, we have a counterfeiter and we have a murderer. Now, counterfeiting wouldn't really have anything to do with this. But murder, it could. Someone who killed their lover in a crime of passion, or something quite interesting if you consider James's position. Either way, the murderer is guilty. I do not wish to die. I long only to return home. But I know it is not to be. Though I have done nothing, this crime has been thrust upon me. Someone save me. This is not judgment. They are bloodthirsty, and I am their sacrificial lamb. So going with that, the counterfeiter is innocent. There is no mention of his crime. And the counterfeiter would be this position here. And with that we can go back and claim our key. Progress! Maria? And so now for something else we can do to once again influence Maria? the ending we're after here. Maria, no. Here at the labyrinth, we've reached the point where what Maria has you? died a second time. Why? Why? So, after our dramatic encounter here, the thing you want to do in order to try and influence getting this ending is try to go back in. There's nothing else for me in this room. There's nothing more that I can do here. I don't want to, but I'll have to just leave her here like this. So yeah, if you try and examine the door again twice, you'll start getting that message showing that James doesn't want to leave Maria behind, but there's nothing he can do. That's right, show care for your baggage even in death. So now once again it's time for the music box puzzle, 
which has also changed on hard mode. Before I get into this, I have had people asking if there's any penalty to getting the music box puzzle wrong. And actually, there's not. At most, it's just a delay, because the music box still won't sound right, and it still won't give you the key. But there won't be anything coming out to attack you or anything like that. So here on hard mode, it requires even more of an understanding of fairy tales. So let's get right to it. Even so, I still want to believe that she was happy. Let's go ahead and look at the others first. Twas shameful greed did stain her shoe with blood. And beauty, both a blessing and a curse thou be. So we have our three slots and our three music boxes. So in order to place these, we have to know a bit more about the fairy tales involved. So, beauty, both a blessing and a curse thou be. Snow White was known for her beauty. Beauty that drove the queen to jealousy to try and kill her, basically. So it was definitely a curse as well as a blessing. So Snow White goes here. Oh, too many items. There she is. So now we have, and still, I would like to believe she's happy. In this, you have to think about the other two, uh, for lack of a better term, princesses. In this, we're led to the Little Mermaid. In order to walk upon land, she gave up her voice. So, you'd pretty much just have to believe she was happy, because she couldn't outright tell you. And this leaves, "'Twas shameful greed did stain her shoe with blood." Now, mentioning a shoe, that should already put you in mind of Cinderella's glass slipper. But there's more to it than that. Why did it stain her shoe with blood? The original telling of the story was a bit more gruesome than the Disney version. In that one, the stepmother was desperate to make that glass slipper fit the feet of her daughters. So much so that she sliced the heel off of one of their feet and the toe off another of their feet to make it fit. But being a glass slipper, the blood was kind of telling. So Cinderella goes here. And thus the music plays correctly and we get our key. We're almost done. Okay, so maybe that strategy didn't work, but here's one that will, if you know how to pull it off. First, immediately go back into this corner. Be unequipped, or really equipped with anything other than the great knife, because you're going to need mobility to get to the corner quickly. Then, equip the great knife. Now once you're back here, don't worry about getting poked. You will get poked a few times. It's all part of the process. The thing to note is that on hard mode, melee weapons will bounce off walls. The return strike actually counts as another hit. So once you get the dual pyramid heads into the right position, 
This actually finishes them off quickly. That's the end. That's it. So you will get poked a few times during this strategy, but look how quickly it ends as opposed to the gun strategy. That's really all there is to it, just knowing where to set this one up. But, yeah, the controller is thrumming from the number of hits I took. But, seriously, just like... A couple of health drinks and a first aid kit to completely heal, as opposed to the ridiculous number of them I went through using the rifle last time. Yeah, that's a much better strategy. That works a treat. <laughs> I love it. Hassan Chop. <laughs>